Hello and welcome to another episode of the Steam Free to Play. And I have been successful in the challenge and I've just gotten my cicada. I played a bunch of it on Saturday night and I've got my cicada. I've got the cicada champion. I got the mech bay and the statue as well. My last match to get the event sort of finished. There's some more I can do with the event. I could get colors, but eh, it doesn't really matter to me. Um, I got this incredible game that I put on my Twitter. It was just like 1200 damage and, you know, seven kill most damage delts. And it was like, I'll, I'll take that sort of thing. So let us take a look at this cicada. <gasps> look at it. It's got six medium lasers, an XL340 engine. Take a look here. Very nice. I'll just get rid of these windows here. So, a lot of people will be getting this new mech, and as such, the medium population is actually quite healthy right now. I'm going to do a single episode playing with it, and then I'm going to sell it. And I know people are going to be like, Never sell mechs! Never sell mechs! But, for me, I... I I'm... I'm not going to go for cicadas. I mean, if this was a real account and I was going to, you know, play for a long time, and I would maybe just keep the cicada because I might eventually get more of them. I have cicadas in my main account, but I have a very specific goal, and that is to um, get certain quantity of mechs and get them mastered and then call that the I've been successful with my free-to-play. So you can see here, if I sell everything, including its engine, I can get three and a half million C-bills. And that is a significant boost. That is a lot of hours of saved time. So that is why I will be selling it. But for now, we're going to do one match with the Cicada. Well, not one match. One episode. So three or four matches, depending on how it goes. And then we'll get rid of it. But for now, let's get into the match. Okay, we're loading into our first match here. Frozen City. I believe it was an assault, if I remember correctly. No, nope, skirmish. Okay. So we gotta set up our weapon groups with this thing, and I believe it can be a left-right. A left-right sort of feeling. We're just gonna hit into heat mode, because... It's, it's, it's hard to see on this map without heat. We're just going to move here, and we're going to immediately... Oh, looks like that Lance in the far side down there decided not to go into B4, but instead decided to take the long way to get back with the team. That's probably a good idea. B4 Lance tends to get pushed in pretty hard, but we are much more like a light in this cicada than we ever have been in the Stormcrow. So, we're just going to be moving much faster through the map than before. Peek over here. There's nothing. There's nothing. And where is the enemy? There is a blackjack. Let's see, it looks like the enemy are doing the standard push. They're coming through the brawl city and heading towards us. Just gonna. Oh, oh, that's an allied. You have, but I noticed it going up. You can see them when they start to come up like that, so you can keep your eyes out for them. We're gonna watch this. Help this guy here. And if we see any opponents, put some lasers into them and back off. And we're just gonna peek, peek and shoot, peek and shoot, and get back into cover. And our guy here is getting hammered. We're just going to help him where we can by shooting up the Atlas while he's busy with somebody else. This is not going good so far. We're just going to retreat back here because we obviously can't take the hits because we are in just a little cicada. We're going to pull around here and we're going to shoot the enemy cicada. Try to do as much damage as possible from this vantage point. 
Centurion there. It's just a single AC-20. That's still... still scary. Let's see. Oh, that Hellbringer is actually very damaged. Oh, cool. That's good information to know. That Centurion is stripped, so I'm going to ignore him and go after the Direwolf as Zarawolf is much more of a threat. I'll get back into some cover here. And again, putting shots into the Direwolf. Shielding and backing up. And moving. More shots into the Direwolf. And we're just being that... Um, ooh, geez guys. Override. We're being that annoying little fly on his back. Okay, that Centurion is still the stripped one, so we don't need to kill him. And we're just gonna swing around here. There's a Hellbringer. That's that weak Hellbringer. We're gonna s try to go for his backside here. And we can clean up this kill here. And he's down. And the next opponent, which is the enemy Cicada. Let's try to run him down. Go for that XL. My opponent's got him on the, on the XL engine. And I'll go for this Ice Ferret. As we need a fast guy to chase down this ferret. And he's shielding with his weapon arm. That's uh, not that intelligent. So one more shot there. Oh, I thought his, his weapon was in that arm, but I guess it isn't. We can easily take off the other side torso. And he's weaponless. And he's the last. And we take him out. Good game to our opponents. Ah, it's just so different playing in this mech. I've been playing Stormcrows so much recently that playing a bit in a fast mech is like... Whoa! We get 283,000 C bills. I'm at the very end of my premium time for the one week that they gave us. So I'm trying to get as many games in before that ends. 551 damage, two kills, six assists, but three kill most damage dealt. All right, off to the next match. Sensor. And loading in here into the next match. Unfortunately, we are down two. We have a DC, and we have a ping of zero guy. So, Montreal. So, unfortunately, we're down two. So, it's already 10v12, of 10v12. And we're just having to carry extra hard. So, we're rushing forward here on the right side. I'm going to... Sneak up here and try to get behind this rock and try to do some spots. Wonderful spots. Whoop. And poke my head around the corner. Oh, one of our guys reconnected. There's an enemy mech there that has not moved. He's outside of my sensor range, just barely. That means I'm outside of his. Target acquired. We're spotting him. He's standing in the open. And I don't have the range to get him from here. So I'm just going to have to move forward if I want to get any damage on this guy. At least I'm going to get the spawning assists. Oop. Stop up here. Pop back out. Get another shot at the Yenlo before continuing to move forward. So hopefully before this guy dies, I can get a shot into him. At least means that I'm going to get an assist. Or oh, I can steal the kill. <laughs> That's excellent. So now, we had a guy reconnect. So now it's just like we're at 11-11, which is excellent. And we're going to push in here towards their base. And I think we're doing quite well here. Shoot on in this hunchback. Took off his weapon and he is down. Excellent. 
Now, I think we can just be aggressive here. I'm not sure where the majority of the team is. The enemy team, that is. But I know this guy here... Oh, it's a king crab. Okay. This can be a little scary, but I have the mobility, and he's not looking at me. And the executioner is absorbing the fire there, and we can move in swiftly to take him out. Oh, and there's an enemy shadow cat there. We're just gonna keep shooting at him. Oh, overload. Ah, all right. Quickly. Shadow cat's getting away. So there's a shadow cat and arctic cheetah and B3. Ooh. We're just gonna go probably for the legs of this cheater, just to limit his movement. And okay, he's running out of bounds. We'll ignore him. We'll shoot back. Don't taste the cheater out of bounds. Oh, what's that? Oh, enemies. Okay, we're moving over this direction. We're gonna try to take that side torso off this guy. We're just gonna wait for him to turn back. Try to put a good shot to his side, but he gets away. Okay, we want to watch for this cheater because. Not this cheater, this shadow cat here. As he can be pretty deadly with those streaks. But. He is engaging our adder. And we can take this moment. I'm not used to this mech's movement. Oh my god. Oh, overread. I shouldn't have done that. I gotta be a little bit careful with this mech. And he's down. Excellent. God, this mech's a little hot. Especially with these six medium lasers and some frantic combat we're in. But that does mean we're doing some good damage. Oh, back around the corner. We are making the panic, and we are 7-2, so we're we're definitely going to win this. We can just take a nice, good shot at that guy, and our Atlas takes him down. Excellent. Now there's just a few guys left. And we can probably just take our time here. I'm just going to pull back a little bit. I'm going to wait for my cooldown, so I'm going to sit in the cap circle. And just let myself cool down a little bit before I re-engage. Ooh, there's a cheater there. Ah, cheaters are always so hard to sh hit, and this this mech has a great movement. Like um, its torso twist speed is absolutely amazing comparatively to Stormcrow. Just nice, accurate shot there to take that guy out. And I just want to cool down a little bit more. Oh, that guy gets sniped by those. Those lasers. Oh, I got artillery! I survived. Oh, there's a mech up on our left. We are 11 4, and that is the last. So let's charge him. Go around the back of our Atlas so our Atlas doesn't shoot us. And do a nice shot into him to get the last kill. Excellent. Good game to our opponents. Mwahaha. <laughs> Let's see how we did. I have a good feeling about this match. 585 damage, 3 kills, 7 assists, with 2 kill most damage delts. And again, a whole bunch of C-bills. Mm, excellent. Now for another match for this video. And for this match, we're Conquest on River City. So we're probably going to look to use our mobility uh, to go and capture some points, because we're... We're moving at 140 kph, are we not? 137.7. So, we have some speed here that we can make use of. So, not sure what I want to first go for. Our, our rest of our team will go get Epsilon, but I'm pretty sure we can just go group up with them and head through Upper City and see where we can go from here. Do, 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 do. Running through the Upper City, yes, sorry. I definitely do like mechs that remove this quickly. Um, I'm going to be looking forward to getting some kind of light or really agile medium to add to my roster. I mean, Strong Crozer is so goddamn good, but it is it could be nice to add, say, a Shadow Cat or something 
to my group. They are on sale right now. I could buy one. But I also really want to get that heavy of some kind. Most likely a timber that I can use for battle. Let's see where the opponents are here. No contacts yet. Oh, there's some guy on Theta. And let's see here. Who's crossing? That is a Thunderbolt. I feel like I have the speed to get over to Gamma. Let's go see what's going to happen over here. With this Thunderbolt, I'm going to back him up a little bit. If he gets into trouble, though... I'm leaving you, man. Sorry to say this, but I'm leaving you. Um, we're just going to slowly move forward and check out if there's any opponents here at Gamma that we can take out. If not, we can try to take Gamma itself, which I think we're, that's what we're going to do. Oh, there is an opponent here. Thankfully, he's going to be interested in my Thunderbolt buddy. And I can get some free shots into him. Whoa, that's a king grab. Back up. So, is that king crab? He went through. Okay. Whoa, whoa. Oh, where's that coming from? Side there. Shadowhawk. Okay. King crab is beneath us. And we'll be coming out this side here, most likely, in a moment. There he is. And I'm going to run over him to get away. And I'm going to run. Oh my god. Come on, Banshee. I'm going to hide behind you, Banshee. Because I need you, Banshee, as my personal guard. Please take care of that guy for me. There are two crabs. I, I, I am afraid of crabs. Oh, wait, that's a marauder. That is the marauder we were shooting earlier. So it is not a crab, but a marauder. And he caught me in the back. God. He got through my rear CT. We got a good shot at that storm chrono. I forget mech names. What is that thing? It's a mech. We shot it. It was. We got a good shot on it. It's late. Doing this before I head to bed and then head to school in the morning. Come on. Ah, oh, you king crab. Excellent. How are we doing on the fight? Whoa! Left arm's gone. Thankfully, I don't need my left arm. But that was a little scary. No matter what. Oh my god. Allies! Watch out! Although I guess I was walking in front a little bit. So it's kind of my fault. But still. God, flick your lasers up instead of shooting me in the back. Target acquired. We'll push on this Stormcrow as he is a sniper. And we don't really need to fear a sniper that much in short range. And his weapons are gone. Now we can just move in. Target He's down. Excellent. They're getting Epsilon. But wah, we are up on the kills. Just a couple. Target and acquired. we've gotten... This one over here. Oh, there goes their direwolf. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Nice shot there into that Ebon Jaguar and the Shadow Cat. It's nice that the uh, Cicada has a little bit of a range boost on his lasers. Um, normally it'd be 270. This Mech 338 just makes it so that you can uh, we can reach out a little bit further. I can actually do some damage to like that molar there and get some really good shots we're shooting for the pelvis because it's harder for him to uh damage roll on the pelvis oh god we are low on caps i just realized this i'm gonna go use my speed and i'm going to go and capture some points because we need it run through Theta just to help while I'm running through. 
but we're gonna get the heck over to Sigma as fast as we can because we need these points. And thankfully I have the mobility to do this and I'm gonna rotate so that they can't get my back CT because that's probably what they're aiming for. Target destroyed. We're gonna get on Sigma. We are winning the fight massively. We're just gonna hold Sigma and try to uncap it. Like, we don't need to cap it for our team, like that's a benefit, but really we just need to uncap it so they're not getting more points. That's all that is the most important. Let's see here. We want to make sure that they don't get the drop on us. Because we are fairly weak right now. But we should be okay. Considering they just have three left. And we kind of know where two of them are. They're over there in the D5 area. So. Now that Sigma has been uncapped. I just want to. just I want the an inch of it into blue before I leave. There. It's blue. And now we can leave. And we can head towards Epsilon to uncap that and guarantee the game because you never know sometimes with uh, conquest sometimes that one mech can hide and do it quite well so if we go up here this will make the game absolutely guaranteed although I believe that is the last opponent who's getting encircled by our team and he gets taken out. But thanks to our fast speed, we're able to block the enemy from getting more points and really secured the game. Me going back and everyone spreading out and taking those points. We get 283,000 C bills, 466 damage, no kills, most damage done. But hey, I'm done the event. I don't really need him anymore. We did fairly well. Oh, wow, look at our Banshee. 1,000 damage game. Good work to him. And then loading back here into the mech lab, if this doesn't take too terribly long. Connect, connect, connect. We're going to say goodbye to our friendly Cicada. It was a nice interlude between Stormcrows, but we need his value towards other mechs. So we're going to go into our inventory, and we're going to click on the Cicada, and we're going to click Sell. And we can sell just the mech, or we can sell the mech and its attached equipment. So we're going to do that, because we want to sell the engine and all that kind of stuff as well. And, okay. Goodbye, Cicada. Hello, three and a half million sea bills. So, that is a huge injection of cash for us. And we just uh, set this back to one of our storm crows. Yes, fine. We are now at just just over 11 million so we're making great progress and let's see what we can get right now we can get we could get a summoner they're on sale although i don't really like the summoner we're a few million off of his timberwolf we are the same couple few million off of a an ebon jaguar uh hellbringer same um just looking around we could theoretically we got one more day left. Oh my god, I could theoretically get two Shadow Cats on this sale. If I ground out a little bit more, I could get like a a Prime and a B. Oh, that's actually tempting. But I don't know yet. I think for now, we're just going to leave it as is. I'm going to open this up to all so I can just look at them all. We've got our Storm Crows, so we're done there. Most likely we're going to go for a heavy, so we still need another few million C-bills. And then once we do get the heavy, we need another few million after that to actually put what we want on it. So, it makes it even more troublesome. But for now, we have completed the challenge, we have gotten our cicada, and we have liquidated it to go towards our Bai Kanajashi a heavy fund. So for now, thank you for watching this episode of the Steam Free-to-Play, and good hunting.